Tinkercad selected me to their advisory team and sent me this box of goodies which included this pencil box and these pencils. The only problem is the pencil box isn't 3D printed. So I'm going to show you how to design your own in Tinkercad so you can 3D print it and paint it the way you want. Right here in this special edition of Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. I do a lot of videos here teaching people how to use Tinkercad and being selected for the advisory team, well, it's just a great honor. I really like this Tinkercad pencil box, but there's just something not right about it being injected molded instead of 3D printed. Let me show you how to design one in Tinkercad. You start off by placing a block in the center of the bed. I'm going to use the same dimensions as the original box, so I drop a ruler and then change the dimensions to 69.5 in both X and Y and made it 99.5 millimeters tall. Then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to lift it up exactly 2.5 millimeters by coming down here and changing it to 2.5. That'll make the bottom that thick. Now I'm going to turn that duplicate into a hole and change its size into 64 millimeters by 64 millimeters, center the two, and then I'll group this together and I got my pencil box. Now all I need to do is put the Tinkercad on the front of it. Now they painted theirs on. I want to put actual 3D print letters. So I'm going back to the dashboard and I'm going to search for Tinkercad and look for all the Tinkercad designs. And I found this one that I really like from John's Tinkercad. So I open that up and I'm going to ungroup it first. And this allows me to grab all the blocks so I can lower that down to one millimeter thick that way I don't have to worry about supports. I can put this on the front. Now I'm going to take all the letters, make them into holes, and drop them down through those blocks. And then when I group those together, I'll have blocks with the letters that are holes. And then I can take this whole thing, I can copy it, and then I can go back to the dashboard, select my box that I just made, and put the plane, the work plane, on the front of it, and then say paste, and it's going to paste it right on the front of the box. Now all I need to do is position it, and I'm going to position it very similar to the way they had. They had it slightly offset and down a little bit. And once I've got that in place, I'll drop the work plane to the normal position, and this box is ready to go. Now I'm going to change it to orange so it looks similar, and the letter into white so it looks like the same box. So I'm just going to group this together and export it, and then load it into Simplify 3D for slicing. So here's the box, and I have to turn it so you can see the actual letters popping through. And so now I'll just go into the slicing settings. I'm going to use my CR10 Mini with PLA. I'm going to do a regular setting, so a layer of 0.2 layer height, 25% fill, temperature 60 degrees on the bed, 215 on the hot end, and 50 millimeters per second. So I slice this, and I look for holes or any errors in the slicing, but it looks really good. So I'm ready to print this, so it says it'll take 7 hours, 18 minutes, and $2.23 in plastic. So now I'll send this to my CR10 Mini, and here's a time lapse of it printing. Seven hours later. The slicing software is just an estimate. It actually took seven hours and 59 minutes, almost eight hours to print. Instead of white letters, I wanted to see if I could reproduce the true Tinkercad symbol. My wife has a huge collection of craft paints, so I got a lot of different colors that matched somewhat to the Tinkercad symbol. And I'm not the best painter, but I went about painting each letter. And once I cleaned it up a little bit, I like the way it turned out. So here's the final result. I think it looks good. I'll transfer the pencils, set this one aside, and now I have a true 3D printed Tinkercad pencil box. If you like this, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month of Patreon is always appreciated. If nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll share the files on both Chep Club and on Thingiverse. Check the description for the links. Thanks for watching.